Hey, what's up guys, it's Don here, and today I'll be showing you three tweaks that will allow you to turn on your flashlight with different gestures. Now this is useful, for example, I use the fast unlock tweak, which unlocks my device once it detects my face, and sometimes it's very hard to hit that flashlight toggle. Another good example will be is if you use jumper, which allows you to customize the two toggles in front. Let's say you have the flashlight toggle replaced with another toggle that you find useful, you still have access to turn on the flashlight. But anyways, enough to chat, so let's get started. So for our first tweak, it's called flash tap. And flash tap basically allows you to turn on your flashlight by tapping three times on the lock screen. So if I tap three times, my flashlight is on as you can see here tap three times again as you can see here it is now off now the con to this is it only works on the lock screen and also let's say if i try to unlock my device it will slow down your passcode so as you can see here it's lagging a little bit so you kind of have to put your passcode very slow and that's the only con to it, that it's only on a lock screen and it kind of does make your passcode a lot slower. And another issue is if you're hearing music on your lock screen and you try to skip a lot of music by tapping on the next button, you also toggle your flashlight like that. But it's very simple, simplistic, just download and install, no settings to configure. And that is flash tap. Now let's go on to our next week. Mute flash is our next tweak and I'm not much of a fan of this one but basically it makes your mute switch a on and off toggle for your flashlight. Now this still will work to mute and unmuting your device but I just don't like it because I actually have notification sounds, custom ones that I like. But basically if you see here my device is on mute and that means that the flashlight is off if I unmute it the flashlight is now on mute now it's off now this tweak is pretty perfect for those who always have their device on mute now me i like a little bit of sound with my notifications so i'm not much of a fan of this tweak but there's no settings to configure just download and install and this is mute flash now let's go on to our last and final tweak Bow flash is our last and final tweak and is the one that I personally use. And what this does is allows you to remap some of the buttons to enable a custom gesture to turn on your flashlight. Unlike haptic feedback, this does not make your button uh, useless. So it will still work. And the best part about it is if you use the gesture to tap and hold your power button, you do not have to have Siri disabled. Now I do not use that gesture. I actually use the double press one, which I will show you right now. So if I double press, you see it turned on right before I actually locked it. And if I double press again, it turns off. So let's go take it some of the settings that this tweak provides. And there are some bugs to this tweak, which hopefully will be fixed in the future. But the bug is that if you install the tweak, it's going to be enabled by default and it will use the default gesture, which is a power button and volume up. So when you take a screenshot, your flash will turn on, even if you have a different gesture applied, like I do here, which I have the double press. The only way to fix this is to disable the tweak, respring, enable it again and respring. Now this will reset once again if you respring installing or uninstalling another tweak or if your phone dies and you had to enable jailbreak once again. Like I said, I hope this gets fixed in the future, but yeah. Anyways, we have our enable button on the top. We have our respring at the bottom, which does not work. So I recommend using another way to respring. And we have our option to choose the gesture that we want to pick to enable our flashlight. I have the double press, but you can choose between these options. Like I said, if you use the power button hold, you do not need to have Siri disabled, which is great for those who actually use it. Now, I actually don't like that option because I have Siri popping up and I got to dismiss it. So that's why I have the double press button option. But yeah, that's pretty much for this tweak on how to use it and pretty much for the video as well. So go ahead and like it if you like it. If you dislike it, you already know what to do. And if you'd like to see more of my YouTube content, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.